Hello everybody, it's Retro Fix, and today it's another Not So Retro Fix. You'll probably be wondering, oh gee, I bet you that has stick drift. Well, <laughs> uh, you would be right. <laughs> So this has stick drift. Let's fix it. And just get, just open, get that started. Open it up. And here we go. Oh look, a battery. It's not there. And you see, we got a, our first screw. Our first screw, right here, that we're not going to pay any attention to. We're going to pry pry in here with our little tool here. That's rather beat up. Okay, so we just want to. Try to wedge your way in there and get it on camera, if you can. Okay, I just kind of found a little opening there and I squeezed in. And all we're going to be doing is kind of pressing in. Oh gosh. We're going to be pressing in and kind of separating the glue that runs all up and down up in there. And just be careful, don't press too hard and like annihilate anything under here. Okay. So we're gonna go back down in here. Oh yeah. Now that got that loosened it up real good. You could probably just start to force it up. If it's not popping, then work your way around. Oh yeah breaking it and you can come around here I kind of now I just kind of and just assist it there we go I broke it and here we are the sweet underbelly doesn't look too bad but we need to get underneath the stick and if you can't take it off if it's not coming off but you want to be careful anyway because see there's a spring here and sometimes the other end of it is like stuck to the cap so if you're all yanking really hard you might pull that whole spring and ruin the spring so if it doesn't want to come off take some rubbing alcohol and any way you can try to get it under there So it's just saturating the little hole that it's in. Okay, and now we might be able to get it off. I'm just trying to brace my whole finger. Oh boy. There it goes. Okay, I felt it I felt it moving just a little bit and then I stopped. Yeah, see how it grabs that spring? I'm just going to. I can't. Uh, so I'm just really trying to. There it goes. Okay, I don't think I screwed it up too bad. Let's take a look at it. No, that looks that looks good. All right. And now we'll put this down right here. Now we're going to take our 91% isopropyl and we're going to just kind of drop it in there. Let's get a good shot. So we're just going to try and drip it down in there and then move our stick around up and down. So we're just going to go around the sides. Oh yeah. Get the button in there too. I mean, you can really let it have it. And then I kind of go like this and let it run back down. Going up and down, left and right. You can do move it however you want, just move it to its extremes. And then you run out to your air compressor that you have waiting, waiting for you outside in the garage. 
or anywhere and you're going to blast it out using about 60 psi At this point, you can probably test it, but I'm going to go ahead and reassemble. Everything else has been cleaned as well. You know, making sure there's no boogers and... and ooh. These only go on a certain way. This, this has a shape to it. You can kind of just twist it and, and it'll fall into place. It's not too difficult. Well, there it goes. Now that's on. I'm blowing it for good luck. Set that on over everything here. Okay, now it's kind of just teetering on here. We're going to go around and press down. Just go around the whole thing and press down the best you can. Yeah, feels like I got it down all the way. And it looks flush to me. So now we'll put a battery in and test it. 